Third-party data sources are a great way to quickly and easily get started with custom metrics. So let's check it out. If you click over to the third-party data sources tab, you'll see the five partners that we support. Now I've already linked my Pingdom account, but let's go ahead and link a Librato account. It works almost the same way. So just simply type in your email, paste in your API token, and click link account. And we're going to validate the credentials for you to make sure they work. And when it comes back successful, we'll give you a success message and say thanks for linking your Librato account. So now that we have a Pingdom and a Librato account linked up, we can go ahead and create metrics that will pull in data uh, from each of these systems. So let's go ahead and do that. So we don't have a metric, we'll go ahead and add one. And when I go to data source, let's go ahead and select Pingdom. And we'll go ahead and fetch a list of the checks that you have. And for us, this is status page, we'll do the production hosted. So this is all the hosted status pages we have, and we'll do uptime. So hosted pages uptime. And the suffix here is percentage, since we'll be pulling in uh, values between 0 and 100%. And once you click Add, we're going to go out and fetch over the internet and backfill about 28 days worth of data uh, so that we can immediately display this pretty looking graph uh, on your page. And so we'll give you some uh, progress here as we continue to uh, fetch the data. And then once that's done, uh, we should start seeing the data immediately. There you go, looks like we've had some pretty solid uptime for the last day. Uh, last week had a little blip. A um, couple things in the last month or so for us. Awesome. So notice you can too change some description about the metric. You can lock the y-axis at some certain values. Uh, you can even hide the y-axis if you want to. So doing the same thing for Librato is exactly the same, except that with Librato, uh, we have a fuzzy matching characteristic uh, that lets us, lets us choose the metric. So, uh, since oftentimes Librato, uh, you can have hundreds or thousands of metrics in there, uh, it works a little bit different. So over here, let's pull in rack.request.time. And this will be the average response time uh, of all of the web requests that are running through the status page system. So web response time. And this one will be in milliseconds. And just like with Pingdom, we're going to go out and fetch about 28 days worth of data uh, so that you can show that on your page uh, right away. So once that's done, so for description, I'll go ahead and type average response time for all web requests running through the status page to IO system. And let's go ahead and show up to two decimal places on this one. And I can go ahead and update even in the middle of the backfill, doesn't matter. Uh, the backfill will continue uh, as normal. So we'll wait for it to finish up here. Look at some cute animal pictures. Oh. All right, there we go. So it's looking like we're averaging sub 100 milliseconds for all the web requests coming through status page. Cool, and the final step, we'll just go ahead and set this to visible, and that means it'll show up on our status page. And that's it.